In this video, we are going to look at the topic liquid pressure. Now, the pressure exerted by a liquid is what is called liquid pressure as the name suggests. Alright, so we've seen uh, solids, any solid exerts pressure and solids exert pressure due to its weight. Now, since weight of any solid acts in the downward direction, so therefore solids also exert pressure only in the downward direction. Of course, due to its weight, don't forget. But unlike a solid, remember, liquids exert pressure in all directions. In all directions, meaning liquids exert pressure in the downward direction, also sideways and also in the upward direction. So we have this bottle of Coke. I have made two holes in here. Now we will fill this bottle with water and we'll see what happens. We see that water is being pushed out of the two holes on the side of the bottle. This proves that water also exerts pressure sideways. In fact, all other liquids also exert pressure sideways. We have a plastic mug and we have water inside the drum. Now what we are going to do is we are going to put this plastic mug inside water and we'll see what happens. We see that the plastic mug is pushed upwards. We'll try one more time. So, I believe you have tried doing this yourself many times. Okay, so you already are familiar with this phenomenon. But what do we understand from here? What we understand from here is that water, which is a liquid, exerts pressure also in the upward direction. Now let us look at the factors that affect liquid pressure. Basically, there are two factors that affect liquid pressure. One is the height of the liquid column, or you can also read this as depth from the surface of the liquid. Whenever we use the word depth, remember, we are measuring from the surface of the liquid. So the deeper a point we consider from the surface of the liquid, more will be the liquid pressure at that point. And thereby, more will be the height of the liquid column above that point. So remember, greater the height of the liquid column or more is the depth from the surface of the liquid, more will be the liquid pressure. You can clearly see from this video that the water coming out of the lower hole is traveling a farther distance than water coming out of the upper hole. This simply happens because the hole on the lower side is at a greater depth or the height of the liquid column above it is greater. Therefore, it experiences more pressure and hence the liquid coming out of it travels a greater distance. The second factor is the density of the liquid. The denser the liquid is, remember, the more will be the pressure it exerts. If I have a certain amount of mercury, which of course is a liquid, and I have an equal amount of water, then we can easily see that the pressure exerted by the mercury will be much more than the pressure exerted by an equal amount of water. You can test this yourself at home. What you can do is, you will take a certain amount of water in a glass and you will take, say for example, an equal amount of mustard oil in another glass and try weighing them. Okay? You will see that their weights will be different. Their weights are different meaning the pressure exerted by these two liquids will be different simply because they have different densities.